what is the positive solution to the given equation? Okay, so we have this equation right here, which is a quadratic since the highest degree of the x value is 2. So we can simplify this by subtracting negative 4x squared and negative 7x squared from both sides to move these two terms to the other side. After we do that, we'll be left with 0 equals 4x squared plus 7x minus 36. We did that just to get all the terms on one side and to get rid of some of these negative terms because moving from one side to the other, you have to swap the sign. Okay, so this looks like a factorable quadratic, so we'll try and factor this. So in order to factor this, we first multiply the a term, which is the coefficient of x squared, and the c term, which is the constant. So when we multiply 4 with negative 36, we get negative 144. Now this number is special because we have to split this middle term in here, the b term, which is the, fact, uh, the coefficient of the x term, into two terms that, when multiplied together, equals this product right here. So what we're saying is that we have to split 7 into two different numbers that, when you multiply together, equals 4 times negative 36. So in this case, we'll split the 7x into 16x and negative 9x and then we'll keep the negative 36. So 16 minus 9 is equal to 7, but 16 times negative 9 is also equal to negative 44. And we did that because that allows us to factor by grouping. You won't be able to factor every quadratic using this method, but many of them will be able to will be factorable by grouping. So now the first two terms we'll just factor these two. So we'll take a 4x common out. So we can take a 4x out from the first term. We'll just be left with an x. And the second term will just be left with 4. So 4x times x is 4x squared and 4x times 4 is 16x. And then the second term will just take out a negative 9. So we'll be left with an x and a plus 4. So now, because we split the b term into these two terms here using this special rule, we can see that this term inside the parentheses x plus 4 is also here, this x plus 4 with multiplying with negative 9. So now we can factor one more time by taking this term common out. So 0 equals x plus 4 times the 4x and minus the 9. So if we simplified this out, you would still be able to get this term right here. You would just multiply this with x plus 4 and negative 9 with x plus 4. So it would give us the original equation back. But now we have a fully factored quadratic. And from this quadratic, we can find the two solutions. So the first solution will be setting this part equal to 0. Since this is the multiplication of two terms, say like it's a times b, if either a or b is equal to 0, then the whole thing, the whole equation will be equal to 0, since 0 multiplied with anything is equal to 0. So if either a is 0 or b is 0, then the whole equation equals 0. So when a is equal to 0, the value of x is equal to negative 4 because negative 4 plus 4 is 0, which will turn this whole equation into a 0, which satisfies the equation. So one of our solutions is x equals negative 4. And then when b is equal to 0, so we can just set that equation up right here, 4x minus 9 is equal to 0, then 4x is equal to 9, if we move this to the other side. So then x is equal to 9 by 4. So when x is equal to 9 by 4, this b term here, what's in this parentheses, will equal 0. And when we multiply that with anything, we'll just get 0 again. So x equals 9 by 4 is also a solution. 
Now, going back to the problem statement, it asked us for the positive solution to the given equation. So this solution here is negative, so we're not going to use that. But x equals 9 over 4 is positive, so we'll use that as the solution. And x equals 9 over 4 is answer choice B. So B is the correct answer.